What is good, y'all? Sean, the Spool Game Man, back around with yet another reaction video, baby. And today, we're back with some more Putri Ariani. This is somebody to love, Queen cover. Want to go ahead and check this one out because you guys wanted to see it. So we're going to go ahead and drop this on the channel today. Before we get into it, I gotta ask y'all a quick favor, man. Please, if you guys wouldn't mind, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn that bell on so you guys can know when videos are going live. And show that love and support to the channel, man, as we keep trying to grow this family up to that 5K goal, man, and keep going even farther past it. So today got another cover by her this one's not an original so we'll see what she's gonna do to this queen song i don't think i've heard the original but we'll see once we start getting into it i'm not you know familiar with the name of the group but we'll see once we kind of get into it and see what's uh the melody and everything like that and i might remember it i might have heard it somewhere but uh, if not we're gonna see how good she sings it so without further ado if you guys haven't already too as well if you need more gaming channel content or more smooth content in general head over to smooth guy gaming i got plenty of gaming videos walkthroughs and sports gameplay for you guys to go ahead and go check out over there. Let's get into this video. All oh, right, look, I'm about to say already in acapella at the same time. Let's start over. Already with acapella? Ugh, that's that's how confused she had me with the vocals there. No music. She's gonna be doing it all herself. Looks like no live band in the background this time. I saw her on the piano. But still to start out straight vocals, no music behind it, that's bold. I do know this song, okay. Somebody, I need somebody. Wasn't it in Happy Feet, Look, Yeah, it was in Happy Feet. Okay, I, I know this song now. But uh, we're not going to even talk about how hard it is, the fact that she's singing, trying to remember the lyrics, because obviously there's no sheet of paper, like, you know what I'm saying, to read off of her, you know, nothing to tell you the lyrics. So you're trying to remember the lyrics and remember the exact keys to hit to play it? Different level of talent. Couldn't do it. I spit them all. I ain't gonna cap, but y'all might, I might, I might start singing this one. I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I might start singing this one. This has been like, I swear this has probably been like four or five of my childhood Disney movies, bro. Like, I feel like it was in Shrek too. I don't know. I Don't quote me on these, but I feel like it was in Shrek. I feel like it was, I know for sure it was in um, Cappy Feet. I'm trying to remember. I know it's had to be like three or like two or three other Disney movies from like me growing up and stuff like that. So I might even start seeing this one. I ain't gonna hold it. Oh my gosh, we ain't never heard a scene like that before. Oh my gosh. The upper octaves was just tearing up my ears but I had to let them things first. They burning. <laughs> they burning. But no, for real though, I've never, that, finally, we hear some of that upper octave hold, bro. That's what I've been missing, what I've been needing. But hey, let me know down below in the comment section too. A quick question for y'all mid-video. Where have you heard this song from? Where was it from? Did you hear it from the original group? Like, you know what I'm saying? Did you actually hear it from them? Or did you hear it from a movie, TV show? Where did you, where was the first time that you heard this song or any piece of this song? Let me know down below. I think it just shows her singing talent too, to sing all these different people's covers. Cause these aren't the same type of artists. They don't sing the same. Their lyrics aren't written the same. They don't have the same cadence and structure when it comes to their vocals. Uh, kind of, I've always talked about like rap schemes. Like they don't have the same vocal schemes, I guess we could say here. So for her to be able to cover all of these different ones just shows like the versatility of her singing ability. Where has that been this entire time? Poultry. 
I've been asking for these upper octaves for months now. I got told you couldn't do it. I got told that this wasn't in your bag, which was okay. It don't got to be in your bag. But now you showing me it was in your bag this whole time. You've been hiding it. Oh, my God. Y'all see how upper octave she is hitting this right now? You hear, do you hear the higher level of vos vocalicity that she is about to go ahead and kill this song with? Then we still got two more minutes. There's still another high point in this song that I want to see her kill. Go get it. I just gotta get out of this rhythm cell. Someday I'm gonna be free. Love. That rip ain't in there, is it? I don't remember that rip in there. If it isn't, I mean, covers are supposed to add you a little spin on it. Nice touch. Somebody to love on me. Somebody that love, find me, find me, find me, oh, find me, somebody to love, everybody. Dang, I feel like that. Yeah, we only got a little bit left. I'm going to rewind this so we can catch this a little bit left, but that could have been the part right there where you really kind of drove that bit. Like, you really could take the song over for yourself and kind of drove it up into the upper artist with what you've already been doing. But we're going to let it slide. Everybody find me. Somebody to love. You, ugh, add some of that twang on the end, okay? I'm fine with it. She ain't hit the upper octave like I thought she was going to. Like I thought she was about to drive that up. I was really about to start clapping in a bit, like it's a celebration. But, <laughs> but nah, she added that twang on the end of it. Okay, a little culture on the end of that thing. I love it. I love it. I love it, bro. This is my favorite cover song that she that you guys have put me on. It's somebody to love. I it might also be the nostalgia in me too taking over a little bit. But this is this. this I think she killed this one the best out of anything that she's ever been a cover on. And I like this better than the original she wrote. So. This right here to answer y'all question. I did it in the last video. Make sure you guys go check out that last video if you haven't already. I told you guys to put down below on that one. So do it here too. What is your favorite song by her that she done? Cover or original? What is your favorite song by her? This is mine. So if you rock with this and this is mine too, or this is yours too, drop it down below in the comment section. You gotta be my new favorite sub <laughs> because we hit it together. So let's somebody to love. Don't stupid. Dumb, stupid, dumb, stupid, dumb, stupid. And the fact she was killing pianos on it the whole time. I'm glad there was no band actually behind on this one. This one was perfect with just the... Ooh, don't eat dinner at record, y'all. This one was just fine with her. It's on the keys and her voice only. Now, why it had to be in an all-white room? I don't know. We could have probably put a little... You know what I'm saying? Like, put her, like, on the top of, like, a bus or something like that. <laughs> like, them old-school videos. Like, something something extra. Um, but, no. Nah, I think she killed that one, bro. This is my favorite one for sure, for sure. So, let me know what you guys think this down below. This is definitely Heat Fire Calling to me. Uh, and I would definitely grade this one a 10 out of 10. I love it. I give me a 9.0 out of 10 because I want to hear that, that higher octave one more time for me like I know she can. So 9.0 out of 10. Let me know what you guys are rating it down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys, please, if you enjoyed me, my singing, her singing, or the video, leave a like, subscribe, and turn that bell on your way out the video. Comment down below what song of hers is your favorite. Or if you're rocking with me, as this one is your favorite. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Shantu Smooth, aka Black Okage, Black Avatar, King Leo. Catch you guys in the next video, man. I'm gone for the day. Peace.